Have you ever made love all night long? See, she says she wanna make a love. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be covering a few topics regarding shampoos. So are you shampooing your hair correctly? Are you using the correct shampoos? And are you using the shampoos correctly? if that makes sense um i do i post a lot of videos and i get a lot of questions regarding shampoos and asking like oh i didn't know that you're supposed to use like specific types of shampoo when you wash your hair so i thought this would be a good idea just to kind of educate people on the types of shampoos and how to use them and everything like that before i do get into the video make sure you are liking commenting if you watched a few of my videos and you're not subscribed yet what are you doing i'm gonna give you a few seconds to do that Okay, let's go ahead and get to the video. All right, um, I'm gonna have a part two of this video. It's gonna be the same video, but um, this one is just gonna be talking about the shampoos I use, what types of shampoos there are. And then the second part is gonna be actually me washing, shampooing my hair, um, just showing you how I get the best results um, on my wash day. And by the way, I just washed my hair. In this combo, I'm loving it. <laughs> I think there are three main types of shampoos that you should have. Um, you could have more if, but I think just like basically just starting off, you need three types. So I think you need a clarifying shampoo, a um, weekly or uh, cleansing shampoo, and then a moisturizing shampoo. So those are three things I think you need, you absolutely need. Um, if you have hair, if you wash your hair. So starting off with the, oh, and the specific products or like the brands that I'm showing you, you don't have to use these. If you just like search like the type of shampoo that you're looking for on Google, it'll show you different, whole bunch of different options. These are the ones I use and I don't switch these up. I use the same ones, <laughs> um, just rotate through them. Starting off with my clarifying shampoo. This is the clarifying shampoo that I use, the Kinky Curly Come Clean. Like I said, this is not the only clarifying shampoo that you can use, this is the one that I use. Um, it is a great refresher like, wipes your hair clean it's great for using after protective before and after protective styles um, when your hair is super dirty has a bunch of buildup um, like a bunch of product buildup so kiki curly come clean is my recommendation the one that i use every four to six weeks or as needed and the like weekly shampoo i use i use this every week on the weeks that i'm not using this one so majority of the time this is the one i'm using the ag balance shampoo Okay, there we go. The AG Balance Shampoo. Um, it is a apple cider vinegar shampoo. And I just like really love it. A little, it's kind of expensive, but a little bit goes a long way. In the video that um, I'm posting after this, you'll kind of see how much I use. And um, like I use probably like two squirts, maybe three, um, but it lathers really well. A little bit goes a long way and it's a great just like weekly shampoo it doesn't like completely strip your hair so it's like i want to say it's in between um clarifying and moisturizing it's just like a really good weekly shampoo um but yeah i definitely recommend this one i know a lot of people just have moisturizing shampoos and they don't want your hair to like strip your hair clean of all its oils but the point of a shampoo is to like clean up all the buildup open up those cuticles and all that type of thing and if your hair feels stripped that's what the moisturizing shampoo and the conditioner is for is to just you know not like it's just to bring that moisture back and close your cuticle um so yeah weekly shampoo and then the moisturizing shampoo that i use is the redken all soft shampoo this is expensive too but it's a huge bottle it's a 33.8 fluid ounce bottle this lasts me and my boyfriend like a long time. And like I said, this one a little bit goes a long way. You get a lot of lather, super moisturizing. Um, I also use this when I'm detangling my hair. So definitely recommend this one. Um, they also have one for like color treated hair, bleached hair. Um, just kind of look at them if you want to, but this is the one I use. But so this is like just the moisturizing one, but I believe all the other ones are moisturizing. It just helps with other things as well. So. I shampoo my hair twice. This one I use every single wash day regardless of which of these two that I'm using. Um, people are always surprised, or well, not always, some people are always surprised when I say that I shampoo my hair twice. Um, first shampoo, like I said, to get that first layer of buildup, um, open up the cuticle, 
um, just get that first layer. And second shampoo is the moisturizing shampoo. I detangle my hair with this um, shampoo, and you'll see all of this in the second part of this video, but um, it just kind of brings some of the back of that moisture. And uh, Bentley, it brings some, <laughs> my dog, it brings back some of that moisture. Okay, what do you need? It brings back some of the moisture into your hair. Bentley, <laughs> before you do your, like your conditioner, also detangle with this as well. Um, and you'll show how I fully like detangle my hair on wash, like, like yeah, when I wash my hair. So I used to just shampoo my hair once, not even like this rush through shampoo just to get to the conditioner because I wanted that moisture, I wanted to detangle my hair. But now, um, after I do the first shampoo and then I do the second shampoo, I and detangle with the second shampoo, my hair is fully detangled every single time. So then I can just um, add the conditioner on top, work that in, and um, yeah. So just work that in and then I'm done with shampoo and condition my hair. I spend the majority of my time on the shampoo part and that has helped so much. I just, um, I shed a lot less hair and my hair is, feels a lot better. It reacts to products, like the product appli application after is a lot smoother and they work a lot better. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, and then after you're done shampooing, like I said, the conditioner is to bring back that moisture, seal your cuticle back down because the shampoo i believe lifts them um and i also quickly wanted to go over um so these are the shampoo my boyfriend ha uses as well he has and we don't know if it's dandruff or um pariasis but i just wanted to add these in just in case somebody else does that has those issues um he uses the tea cell it's neutrogena tea cell therapeutic shampoo I'm not sure how much these cost, but I know a little bit goes along with these. And then the Nizoral anti-dandruff shampoo. So these are the two that he uses. It helps a lot. Um, he still does get like dandruff and everything like that, but it does help um, on his like wash day. And then we usually just follow it up with the moisturizing shampoo. He uses, I think he uses both of those and then follows it up with this. But yeah, so. Um, and I'm not going into too much detail about like shampoo specifically, but I just wanted to go over how the like, things I use and how I use them and kind of like a quick overview of my shampoo, shampoos on wash day. Um, so yeah, I am about to go ahead and play the clips and I'm going to do like a voiceover of me um, explaining how I shampoo my hair, like the exact process. Um, and I believe I used the AG and... This one this week because i i think last week i used this one um but yeah <laughs> so stay tuned and um i hope you enjoy this video um if you have enjoyed this video so far hit that subscribe button like this video comment down below which shampoos you like and if you use any of these let me know your thoughts all right y'all um as you can see my hair is looking a mess <laughs> about to get this um, shampoo started. Um, these are the two shampoos that I'm using. The AG Balance Shampoo as my first shampoo and then I'm gonna follow up with the Red Can All Soft Shampoo. Um, as you can see the bottle has been through it. It's almost gone. This has lasted me and my boyfriend a while. <laughs> um, so I do spend a good amount of time. This is my first tip. I spend a good amount of time making sure that my hair is thoroughly wet and completely wet. Not like so if you have thick hair or a higher density hair, make sure, spend as much time as you need making sure your hair is fully saturated with water before starting the shampoo. Um, so you see I put, used two squirts of the AG shampoo um, and I am just emulsifying it before I apply it to my hair. That um, helps like it distrib distribute more evenly um, and use helps you lose less product. So I'm just going in. Um, this is the next step. Just make sure that you are smoothing and working that conditioner into conditioner shampoo into your hair um and just keep working it in don't scrunch just smooth it downwards just keep doing that um if you need to section if you my hair isn't i don't really have like a high high density so if you do um you can also section in more sections i'm doing four um massaging my scalp um pulling the section and then going into my other hand and using the palms of my fingertips um cleaning my scalp 
and I will be cleaning my scalp again with the other shampoo as well. This is just the first one. Um, but yeah, so, and if you hear my boyfriend in the background, he is playing the game, so hopefully he's not too loud. Um, cleaning my scalp. I'm trying not to cut so much. Um, I will be cutting, like, the video up because it's going to be super long, but I'll, I'm trying not to cut it so much so you can kind of actually see what I'm doing. Um, get in there and get in my scalp. Still working that shampoo in. <laughs> like, when I tell you to smooth it, keep working the shampoo in. Um, get all that dirt that build up that them oils get them all get it all keep working the shampoo in smoothing it down without scrunching um, and then getting my scalp massager you can get these off of Amazon I do have some also on my website if you're interested but they're super cheap um, and I'm using this to just massage my scalp a little bit more remember your scalp health is very important your <laughs> hair starts at the scalp um, if you have a healthy scalp is where it starts so if you want healthy hair make sure your scalp is healthy and happy um, so I'm just going in with a scalp massager and making sure my scalp is clean as well as the rest of my hair <laughs> um, and then I obviously did that to the other side and did a little more stuff but I'm washing out the first shampoo right now make sure it is completely out um, oh another tip that I seen some like hairstylists say um, you should be able to see your curl powdering whenever you're shampooing. So if you don't see that, you haven't shampooed enough and you're not working the shampoo into your hair correctly or you're not using the correct type of shampoo. Um, and you see, oh, I quickly did that, but that's how much shampoo I use for the red can. Um, it wasn't that much, it's a little doll that I'm not gonna need anymore. Um, I think I tell you both of these go a little, little bit goes a long way, even though they're more expensive. Um, Oh, see, I'm getting some more water. Before I put any more products, I am getting more water just to make sure I distribute that. Um, oh, I lost a train of thought a while ago because I was trying to do that tip. But <laughs> um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. But anyways, I'm doing the same thing, smoothing the shampoo in, lightly detangling. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was saying before. Okay, I forget what I was going to say. <laughs> um, with, like, professional, like, hair products, I find that a little bit does go a long way. Um, and with, like, products geared to natural hair, I feel like I have to use a lot more even if I'm doing, like, the same techniques. Um, so don't be afraid to buy, like, a more expensive shampoo because it's going to last a lot longer than, like, your regular ones would. Um, well, for me personally. So don't be afraid to use professional hair products that you think are only for white hair or you know not <laughs> black hair um so i'm going in for this brush i'm um, tangling brush and detangling my hair um a tip i see on tiktok is hold the brush upright um and it helps the detangling process a lot easier it makes it a lot easier um but yeah you can get those off amazon or my website as well <laughs> um and i'm just going in and detangle it i before i did this i cut all a lot of it out but um I separated the curls a lot more and worked that shampoo in before I'm doing this. Don't just go in while your hair is super tangled. Um, I made sure that my hair was detangled enough so where I can just get the rest with this brush. And I don't get a lot of shedding. Like, since I, like, I wash every week, I do get some shedding, but using this, this brush isn't causing excessive shedding, if that makes sense. Um, just in case anyone was thinking that. But yeah, so um, I am just going through and detangle it. I'm going to do that for my whole head. That is pretty much everything I do. Um, like I said, I spend most of my time on the shampoo step since I am shampooing twice. So the conditioning step is like a breeze. It doesn't take me as long as it used to. Um, so yeah, this is my, like how I shampoo my hair. I definitely recommend like if your wash days are taking forever and you don't feel like your hair gets clean enough whenever you're doing shampooing your hair or cleaning your hair, I would recommend like trying the techniques I use and finding the correct shampoos that you need on wash day. Um, but that is everything. If you have any questions, comment them below. Um, if you have any like tips for anybody else, comment them as well. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.